Hi guys, Zipolt here. Welcome to my lab. And today we're gonna do the full review of the iBaso IT01. And uh, the IT01 is a single dynamic driver IEM, and it's something that I really like in my first impressions video. Links up here. Now we're gonna do a full review and let you guys know if it's worth your dough. And of course, how does it stack as well with the other channel favorites here in this channel? But of course, big thanks to Tech Shop 28 for lending me this review unit. Links down below for their shop. And of course, we review budget fi to mid fi audio gear. So if you're into that, consider subscribing. So let's start first with the build. So build wise, I really like the IT01. So firstly, as the lobes, it's pitch black, you know, that black mamba kind of design. It's minimalist and it's definitely a looker for me with that subtle, you know, logo right here. It's not made of metals, uh, but it's definitely made from high quality plastic materials. The finish is also nice here with that uh, car kind of finish. This really looks upscale, uh, definitely lobes wise. This has an MMCX connector as well, easier to use uh, with your more expensive connectors like more uh, expensive IEMs. The cable though is a love and hate kind of thing for me. I like the overall build. Uh, it feels uh, substantial. There is metal in the plug and the connector part and even in that fork part. The cable itself is a copper cable with a braid. My gripes here is uh, I don't like the colors here. I wish it was a bit more toned down. It's better than the KZ uh, counterparts but still I wish it was maybe black or white or more subdued kind of color. Also the braiding here is not uh, so tightly done as you can see here. You can see spaces in between the braiding that may catch a belt buckle or something especially when you store it inside your backpack. And also I wish it was an L plug right here but uh, the straight plug is not a super big deal. The tips are soft and comfortable enough. Uh, they strike the right balance here for isolation and comfort at the same time. Also, it's good that uh, there's some memory here and uh, it's soft memory wire. It's not hard memory wire. So it's pretty comfortable to wear here. Overall, the build is pretty solid here. It feels substantial. I have minor gripes, uh, but I would say build-wise, there are no deal breakers. Comfort-wise, it is above average here. The memory wire here is not super stiff which makes it easy to wear around the ear. Also the lobes and the tips fit well in the ear. Not super flush but uh, still has that air around the ear which makes it a comfortable wear. The tips also sits nicely in the ear. This is good for you if you want to listen for long sessions. Uh, this reminds me heavily of the TFZ S2. Isolation is also good here. I wear this outside for a while and it blocks out uh, most of the sound, especially when uh, you have the music on. So for coffee shops, uh, yeah, out atmosphere right there, this will be a good pick. I use this several times in a coffee shop with no problems whatsoever. So overall, I like the build here, comfort and also isolation. There are no deal breakers here. And yeah, this is something that I really like and uh, really excited about in terms of the build. Okay, next is sound. So sound overall, this is, uh, as I mentioned in my impressions video, this is one of the best sounding IEMs I've heard in the lab in the price range. This is a mid-centric signature and also a pretty flat approach. And uh, it has very good resolution here. This is definitely an upgrade for my favorite TFZ S2. So I listen to this side by side. And I can really tell that I'm uh, really liking the IT01 over the S2. So this is kind of a live sounding IEM. It's very musical. And the lush is the word that I'm trying to look for this. This is very lush sounding. This is definitely a fun listen. It has that relaxed kind of approach which makes this easy to listen to for long periods of time. This kind of reminds me of the HD600 in a way. So highs, highs have good body, very good detail, and has that natural timber to it. 
it reminds me of my shores uh, in highs in a way it is well extended it doesn't sound veiled uh, but it is not sibilant i didn't feel a hint of sibilance here even on guitar tracks mids the mids have very good detail again it is forward in the mix so if you're a mids lover maybe this is for you that's that airy nature to it it's definitely not stale sounding this is a very lively musical kind of approach in the mids bass the bass is in the boomy side but not overly boomy that it bleeds to the mids um, this may satisfy bass lovers the bass is substantial here but it is not of course forward in the mix but you can definitely hear it soundstage is big here it's above average i would say um, it's bigger than your kz counterparts instrument separation is also good here but it is not as black and white as let's say the 10 audio t2 pros but it mixes nicely together it has that you know kind of live band in front of you kind of feel here in comfort there's no sibilance here this is an enjoyable listen i listened to this uh, in a coffee shop for maybe four to five hours and uh, i'm still enjoying the listen even after that so overall, this is one of the most lively sounding IEMs that I've heard. And yes, I really like the sound here. I like this better than my Shure 215s for casual listening. And also given the signature, this is a versatile listen as well, even for several genres. I'm a fan of this IEM. So genres, in general, this works well for every genre I put in it. Rock, given the musical nature of the sound, a rock here is really lively. The guitar tracks here have a meaty crunch to them, uh, given that the mids here are forward in the mix. Acoustic tracks are also good here, given the sort of live nature of the sound here. Just brings out that raw kind of feel in the acoustic track. Hip-hop and EDM, given the boomy nature of the bass here, this is also good for hip-hop as well. But this is not your thumping kind of bass, but it's still enjoyable here. Movies. Movies are also good here because of that, uh, you know, big enough soundstage and lively kind of sound. Uh, gaming is also can be good here, but of course, I wouldn't recommend this if you're a pro gamer. Monitoring. I can also use this for monitoring given that lively kind of signature here. And, uh, you know, that highs is, I would say, enough for... Uh, really live monitoring okay verdict so i would be happy to recommend the it01 especially if you're looking for an enjoyable lesson in your iem this is really musical live sounding this is an enjoyable kind of lesson so it is a colored sound sure but uh, it makes your track just more lively and uh, more fun to listen to music just feels engaging here in the it01 Coupled with a good build and good looks as well, this is an easy recommendation for me. So at $100, I would say this is one of the best that I've heard in the price range. Coupled with the Shanling M0, this is a combination that I'll be happy with all sorts of music listening. So that is my review. Hopefully you like that review. If you learned something, of course, leave a like and of course, subscribe for more content like this in the future. And we also made a new Discord channel. Links down below uh, so we can talk more audio. And of course, thanks for watching and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.